What's up guys, Emperor John Kill 3D Gaming here with another video and today, boy oh boy, if I didn't think things in gaming could get any worse or more stupid than Activision. Activision, what happened to you? And you had my interest with Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, but you just had to bend the knee to fucking China. Why? I want to understand this. Why did you feel the need to bend over to some fucking fried dumplings, motherfucker? Seriously. Why did you censor a trailer? Oh, because China says, uh, uh, we don't like that. Can you take it out? Yeah, we don't like that. Just please take it out. Who the fuck cares? what China thinks or what China wants when I'm playing a video game okay they censored a moment in the trailer and Call of Duty Black Ops touts know your history how unless China says no you need to know this history no but what you mean is know your history means know the history we tell you to know not the history that has already been out there the history that is the truth Okay, just because it offends you? Well, sorry to say this, China, you Winnie the Pooh looking motherfuckers, but it's a video game. If I was a video game developer and I was to put something with historical value, you better goddamn right that I'm not gonna fucking bend the knee and say no to a game that I wanna make. Call of Duty was once known for pushing the envelopes with controversy, okay? The greatest one that everyone will remember is No Russian from MW2. But that was years ago. Years ago. And Call of Duty has been on the decline since then, only with minor spikes to keep it relevant. And Black Ops is the one series that continues to remain relevant. But no, you want to make it non-relevant by bending over and taking a Chinese dick okay I don't give a fuck how people will feel about this I don't give a fuck if I offend people but I'm gonna say it how the fuck it is stay out of our business with video games China you guys can handle your political fronts with America everybody's got their issues okay but stay out of fucking video games cuz I bet you anything you if you made a video game blasting up our fucking regions oh we are expected to say nothing because oh it's just a video game your tout protection your tout defense you guys are the biggest fucking simps and the biggest little dick bald motherfuckers to try to make well not make Activision deal it willingly cuz they're afraid but I don't give a fuck who you are political or not and I don't give a fuck how I sound fuck you China fuck you for intervening in the video games industry just because something hurt your poor little feelings well go sit in the corner and meditate on it motherfucker alright Med meditate on it while go frying some fucking cats and then feel better about it once you've roasted them up in an egg roll or two okay then chew on it sit on it and spin okay video games should not be political pieces I have said this in the past but if you have a video game set in an era where yes there is gonna be controversy set which is which would add life and fuel to the game but you wanna have it censored and taken out I really hope it was just censored for the trailer and it's not taken out of the actual game. I hope there's a moment where Activision just says, fuck you, and puts something that's in that setting or acknowledges that event. Because if you don't, Activision, if you don't make this the most controversial Call of Duty, then Call of Duty is going to be a pussied franchise from now on. And I will entirely quit after Modern Warfare. I only gave Modern Warfare a chance because it was actually pretty good. But no. Black Ops, where you expect better and actually expect the one relevant Call of Duty franchise to do something, everybody's covering it. Everybody is covering how much of a little bitch and pussy of a studio you guys are. Okay? 
both Activision and China may as well be two lovers fucking in a room upstairs. And I'm not talking about straight lovers either. Okay? Because, let's see, Call of Duty is predominantly a male franchise, so when you look at it and you're bending the knee of China, basically, Activision and China are two gay men, and Activision is the bottom bitch. Okay? Which is funny how you're being the bottom bitch to the most littlest dick motherfuckers in the world. Okay? I wish I could pull up a picture with that Chinese minister or whoever the fuck it is that looks like Winnie the Pooh. Okay? I don't give a fuck about your feelings, and the game developers should not have to give a fuck about your feelings. I want to be entertained, and I want to be entertained with a game that pushes the envelope, alright? Acting like things didn't happen, when there's pictures and evidence and proof from your past that things have happened. Really? <laughs> really? This political front entering our video games is really getting on my nerves. You got the far left leftists you got fucking china you got insensitive people in the you know got meant sensitive people in developing houses now i mean call of duty what can i say about call of duty black ops cold war it's still going to sell well regardless because it carries the name black ops with it let's be real but i'm highly disappointed from this point forward activision you are officially china's bitch Okay, you are China's bottom bitch taking that little Asian penis the size of a fucking egg grown fortune cookie paper that's inside of one. And China, stay out of our fucking games in the future, okay? Because I hope a game comes out and pisses you off because you can't do shit about it. Anyway, this is Emperor John Kill 3D Gaming. Be sure to like, subscribe, favorite, and I'll check you all next time.